Mr. Speaker, as well as casting verdict on the Prime Minister today, it is also a chance to hold to account those who propped up his government for so long. Because with every new candidate and every new campaign video for the Tory leadership, we are literally being bombarded with talks of fresh starts or hitting the reset button. <laughs> now, I hate to break it to them, but it isn't lost in any of us that most of the talk is coming from the very same people who backed as Prime Minister yep. from day one and sat round the Cabinet table yep. until yeah, the very yeah. end. Try as they might, they can't hide the uncomfortable truth that they want us all to magically forget that their party has been in power for 12 deeply damaging years. Fresh starts, new starts or clean starts simply don't exist after 12 years of the chaos that now defines their time in charge. Yeah, yeah. They definitely don't exist when they've already failed to get rid of the Prime Minister that they put in power. The herd might have moved last week, but they've very quickly fallen back in line and reverted to Tory time, just as we've seen this afternoon. The Tories have stayed with this Prime Minister until the bitterest of ends, and today proves that they're staying with him still. Their failure to get rid of the Prime Minister means that we now finally need to get rid of the lot of them. Yeah, because yeah, today yeah, proves yeah. another thing. The only fresh start we need, the only fresh start that will work, is a general election. Yeah, yeah. An election that will offer the people of Scotland the chance and the choice of an independent future. Yeah, yeah.